Woo, woo, woo. Hello, replay viewers. Today's an exciting day. I got a double scope day. Double scope. I should have put that as a hashtag, double scope. Anyway, <laughs> if you don't know me, I am Kathy Grillo of Kathy Grillo Designs. And here's my email address. Hi. Hi, you guys. And you can find me at all these lovely places. Alright, so quick announcement again, I'm going to keep announcing this, is May 14th, I am going to be on Viva La Creatives, which will be 4 o'clock um, Pacific Time. There I am, with my little Chewy. So, <laughs> that's exciting, and I'm looking forward to that. Alright, so, I have been working on this today. <laughs> This is a very close up. I'll show you the whole thing is not that big. This is the size of the dog. I did a quick sketch a little earlier. Just um it's a bunch of little lines just showing the direction of like the hair flow really. But so I figured oh I have a it's four o'clock. I have a little bit of time before uh my husband comes and dinner starts and I really have to start cleaning my house because my parents are coming and so I said oh I'm gonna get on and paint and talk to my my uh, peeps here for a little bit and see what's going on so how have you guys been doing today what's new talk to me <sighs> have you been um, creating anything today Anthony I've been watching all your superheroes Hi, Titus woman. I don't know if I know your name for real. I'd like to hear it. Get to know you, if you don't mind sharing. And if you're an artist, what kind of art do you do? Thanks for the hearts, guys. I really, really appreciate it. I love it. So this is nothing even. This isn't really rocket science. Basically, I'm just taking um, strips of color, lying them in here. I have been sampling some colors from the painting, I mean, the picture, but the picture is a, at the size, it's a little um, grainy and not really giving me, it's more gray, not really giving me the colors I want. So I, of course, am using my own artistic license and throwing the colors I want in there. And then I'm going to come here and blend it in, and when you go in the direction, Oh, Toledo! That's not far. I'm up in Michigan, a little bit north of you. Thank you for the compliment. Um, if you follow me, or if you look at my profile in there, there should be a link to my Facebook page where I have all my stuff, my art, posted. And if you feel like going there and taking a look, that would be great. Give a like to something you like, if you like it. <laughs> I always get excited when somebody likes something on there. <laughs> so. Do you, are you a creative? Do you do art at all? So Anthony popped in here, and if he comes back for the replay, I'm telling him off here. He came in, saw I wasn't doing any fashion illustrations and left, because that's what he does. I do those too, but working on this cutie today. I don't know, it's not super exciting, because it's pretty much near the beginning, so there isn't a whole lot to show. I've um, just painted the eye, which everybody likes to see the eyes anyway. I do a pretty good job of them, I guess. But of course, that's like more particular, so I never really show scoping that because it's hard to paint something that you really have to nitpick at and um, pay attention to comments and everything at the same time. But one of these days, maybe I'll do it just for fun. I'll do a eye scope. But I'm just gonna I'm just here having a good time until it's time to get ready for dinner. Now it looks like there's not a lot there, but there is. It's um a white and it's for the highlight to show the shape of the face. I know on the scope it's hard to see that. And 
This is a blonde Afghan hound. So, a creamy colored. I'm going to say creamy. I do want a little bit of this color put in. Alright, so I'm going to come back over the white and throw in some of this color in here. Because I don't want it to be super white and like fade into anything. But this dog will probably be, the background will help um, make it pop when I get the background in. But then I just blend so you don't see a, a line as much as you just see like a little streak of color. And from far away it'll, well actually from close up, it gives it sort of a hair effect. Hi, how are you? Thanks for coming. Um, I don't know your name. If you want to introduce yourself, that'd be great. I'm just digitally painting this Afghan hound today. I am using a um, an acrylic setting and then I am just blending it with a water brush. And I'm very, very at the beginning here. Just started. Just finished the eye and here I'll show you really quick the full so it's a full dog portrait so <laughs> I've just started that's one of the advantages of uh, digital as well I can zoom in here and get detail that I would never get like outside of being digitally doing this because this, the, my canvas size on here is like an 8 by 11 so I would never be able to get this close on an 8 by 11 canvas for sure I'm just kind of get thrown in some color and this is typically my uh, process I always start with the eyes because I like to get the eyes um, the right way. And I feel once I get the eyes right, um, the right expression, the rest of everything kind of comes pretty much, it'll fall in line. So I'll start the eye and then I just kind of work around in a circle on the face. Once I get done with the head part, I'll probably go to a different layer and um, probably put it under the face and uh, then uh, I'll probably work from like the neck down and back. A lot of times I do more close-ups, but with the afghan, I decided to um, do more of a body shot because it's hard. They have all this hair. Alright, so now I'm just going to blend in the direction. And you'll see how it makes like a little wisp that will look like hair. And then the colors will sort of blend into each other, sort of look like little dark hair and light hair. Exciting stuff. <laughs> I know. And it's almost dinner time, but I'm sure I'll have some replayers. So if you guys want to share it, and share it out on Twitter, because I can't share on Twitter, that would be great. Or, um... And I appreciate all the hearts. And just like, you know, if you're one of my friends from the Facebook, feel free to comment or let me know you were here. But I'll probably check anyway and see if you were here. Just. Uh, the only thing I miss out is that you can't really, like, comment if you're a replay viewer. You can't leave a comment on a video. So that would have been nice. This would be a nice little feature. You see how you, when you're doing an animal, 
you want to build the shape of the face by um, varying the colors of the hair. If you ever look at a dog, or a cat, even black hair isn't just solid black. There's usually some dark brown, um, gray, things like that. And the uh, more colors you could kind of mix in and under colors, you'll get more of a realistic or a, it'll read more realistic. So you're going to start seeing like the shadows will start giving it a roundness. So I just have this picture here. As a quick reference on my shadowing and also for the colors I could kind of see even though my, I'm really not matching the colors exactly um, I could do that because this is just a stock photo I'm working my way through the um, kennel club so this is the second dog on the kennel club the kennel club list And so they're more for me. It's not somebody specific dog right now that I'm drawing. Okay, so we're starting to get into the nice long hair. Which, let me, I need to just minimize it a little bit. So I could flow a bit. Even though it's long, all right, just sort of getting a feel for this one area. And so we'll throw in some, let's see how these colors blend in a second. And that's another good thing. If they don't work, I will just blend over it <laughs> with the colors that I want. Okay, so thing is, is I want to get the direction and then you get the, the highlights and this is hair. This is not fur. Afghan hounds have hair. It has this little dark section in here. So this is, it's almost like human hair. Very, very, very similar. Get a couple of these lighter. I want to check and see how these colors are blending. So... This is so light, I'm probably going to end up seeing my sketch underneath on this, which is a little confusing. Um, but I can always come in and fix up the ends. Hi, pipe head. Do you have, yeah, let's see. In and out. In and out. That was a flyby viewing. That's what I call them. A flyby viewer. Alright, so I'm trying to get this hair. See how I'm like flicking it just as I would if I was painting or drawing. Same technique of, I don't know if you're familiar with drawing hair. If you do a long streak and then you kind of flick your wrist, it'll fringe out. Now my water setting is on pretty small because I do want to get like individual looking streaks of hair going. So this is all undercoating because the hair will have this little slight yellow tint. 
but it's really going to have this white on top. Actually, I want it. I need to go whiter. Now, and this is all I'll do for the hair. I'll just kind of go back and forth until I get the strands I'm looking for. You really don't want to be too precise with hair because... Hair does fly away. <laughs> In all different directions. I like get some of this brownish color in, which is kind of giving it a little bit of depth in here. Hi, how are you? I'm just working on this dog's hair. <laughs> Which is an Afghan hound I'm painting. And they have this really long locks of hair. It's not, you can't even call it fur because it is really hair. Oh, I don't have much to talk to on my own. I'm not many people asking questions here. Huh, let's see. I guess it's kind of boring for you replayers. Alright, you can see I'm slowly building these waves up. It's a lot of patience. <laughs> All right. So see, it's going darker here. Now I want to get this lighter color again to emphasize that this section here is coming down over the darker part here. So this is the darker. I'm going to put a couple strips in here. And a couple really dark, just a couple. So see that when I blend it, I'm going to take it out because I want it to look like it's its own little section under here. And then the light over top. Little flyaways over here. You know, those little strands that are just you know, it gives it some movement too. You have some little loose strands, like the wind's blowing. And this is how you would do a person's hair too. And even though this is acrylic, because I use the water brush, it kind of has a water color effect. Um, maybe a little bit of a brighter color. And if I do want them brighter, I can always uh, just 
keep putting more color <laughs> just keep putting more color down because once I do one layer the color is easier to blend up and so then every so often we want to just kind of come out here and check and you'll see we're starting to get the flow of the long hair that develops into um, the ears and this should be fun because this whole body is nice long flowy hair so it's going to be a lot of hair work outside of the face. Um, the face is important to get right because that's what will make it look like the afghan. The hair will be important to get the hair, but that's going to be more of a interpret. You know, more free flowing. Won't be so like nitpicky on the details. It's just as long as it looks like hair. So that's what I'm working on. This one will probably take a few days because. Um, Long hair work is hard. You want to make sure you get, you know, the flows, ins and outs, highlights, shadows, to make it look like, you know, long wavy hair. So that's where I'm at, guys. I'll zoom back in once again so you can see the details I have going so far. Whoop. This is about where I'm at right now. <laughs> Very small, just started. Um, this will be the... Probably what I'm working on, probably all next week. Oh, here's Trouble Bubble. I was going to leave because nobody was here for a while, D. But if you want to stay for a little bit, I will stay online and paint. Oh, well, D left. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go and work on this for a little bit. And like I said... We'll throw this up again. I'm Kathy Grillo of Kathy Grillo Designs. And you can find me, um, especially if you follow me on my Facebook or my Instagram. You'll see this when it's done for sure because I post all my art there. So thanks for um, spending a little bit of time with me and checking me out. And I hope to see or hear from you guys soon.